first cast. First cast. Beautiful brookie. Beautiful main brookie right there. That's a great sign. Boy, what a beauty, huh? Gorgeous fish. So I'm up in Maine. Uh, and this is the Megalloway River. It's a tailwater. And uh, this is all wild brook trout and uh, landlocked salmon in here. And that's a great sign. I mean, this is clearly pocket water heaven. So I'm just trying to, going to try to pick apart these pockets and see what we can do today. It's a beautiful, uh, it's, I mean, it's late summer. It's se mid-September here. Uh, but it uh, does feel like fall up in Maine, so absolutely gorgeous. You can see the trees starting to turn, and I'll probably be shouting over the water, but um, this is a great sign. Looking forward to this day. Pop it in this pocket right here. There we go. Woohoo! <laughs> I believe that's a salmon. It sure is. So the first cast was a brookie. In the second cast, I got a little salmon. Where's your brother? Well, just beautiful brookies. Look at that beautiful guy. Just a beautiful fish. This is such a nice spot here. There we go. It's a salmon. The fat guy. Pretty guys. There we go. Oh, nice fish. Nice salmon. Look at those things jump. That is just awesome. He got me all tangled up, but I'm okay with that. Boy, he seemed a lot bigger, but he's still pretty. I'll take him. That is exciting stuff, man. Boy, these things are just built so solid. Look at that guy. Nice 12-inch bullet right there. Look at that. Beautiful fish. So I got him on a uh, size 18 waltz with an orange collar. That's my first one on the dropper. I can still get a pretty decent drift in here with two flies. I haven't, uh, I haven't had a problem yet of the converging currents, but just because I'm getting, I'm positioning myself the right way so I can get a really nice drift back to me. Something else here. So I'm getting these really nice upstream casts and just drifts directly back to me. So I'm keeping it all in the same scene. Look at that. I knew there was a fish there. I cast right in that soft spot and I just literally drug it right on the edge of that rock. Nailed a salmon there. He hit the waltz. Hi 
Thank you, Mr. Salmon. I have about 10 feet of line off the tip of my rod, and you can still see I'm casting with purpose. Even with 10 feet, I'm using both hands, and I'm still making a cast as if it was 30 feet out, tucking it in there. That's why the cast is so important, even at short distances. There's a fish right there, right in front of me. It's a decent brookie right here. Hit the dropper, like literally right in front of me. A real nice brookie. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful fish. It's a nice 12 incher right there. Beautiful brook trout. That was cool. Once again, that fish was literally 10 feet in front of me, right under the rod tip. These currents are so fast in here. Like I said, even you can't, I couldn't have gotten the bug down had I made this lob. So even at 10 feet, I'm casting with purpose. I am getting those bugs, I'm driving them down right there and I'm into my drift and I'm able to access the bottom right in front of me. I couldn't do that if I just kind of did a lazy lob and then lifted up my cider. It just wouldn't work. You've got to drive those flies in the water right in front of you and get them down to depth right away. There's another fish right there. These are right in front of me, and that's on the dropper. This little salmon. I'm sorry, that's a brookie. You can't fish heavy pocket water with lobs. You've got to drive those bugs down. And I don't even, have, I got a 2.8 bead on and I'm still driving it down in this heavy water. Now I may switch further over there. All right, I'm just gonna go a little heavier and see if I can get a different drift in here. All right, so I put a heavier bead on. Now we're just gonna see if we can get a little deeper in here. I saw a fish come up for an emerger literally right in front of me. Okay. Get it over there. There we go. Little salmon. The landlocks are cool. Okay, now I got a heavier bead on and it, it's, it enables me to fish a little better at distance because it'll hold my drift better and I can stay tight and there's no sag whatsoever. And it's really helpful in this, these strong currents. That's the beauty about a micro leader. I mean, there is zero sag and I'm fishing 30 feet away. There's a fish, oh, nailed it. Okay, I just uh, put a lighter bead on here because it's a little bit slower in here. Let's, uh, let's just fish it with the lighter bead first. I just whacked it. Hit the dropper. Boom. Ugh. 
Boy, he's a pretty guy. Let's get him back up in that hole where he came from. There we go. Once again, this was a that was maybe a 15-foot cast, but I drove the bugs down and it drifted right back to me. And I had a vertical cider. It's pretty deep in there. I, I mean I can't see bottom. So it's pretty daggone deep. But just and the water's really circulating, but I was able to get it beneath there. Just have a really nice drift. There we go. Nice brookie. He hit the dropper. You see, as soon as it hit the water, he was on it. Nice brookie. No, I'm sorry, hit the blowtorch. A real nice fish. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Look at that guy. That's that's a beauty right there. Thank you, Mr. Brookie. God, look at those white fins. That was awesome. That's why you have to get tight. I'm always saying you gotta get tight to your cider. Perfect example. This quick water. The moment a lot of these fish, especially in pocket water, they're gonna nail, if you throw it on top of them, they're gonna, if they're in the feeding mode, they're gonna nail it right away. So as soon as my bugs hit the water, that fish was on it, immediately. If I had a real lazy cast, I'd have never felt that fish hit. Okay, this just looks amazing out here. <clears throat> this looks really, really good. I'm gonna fish this here and then I'm gonna wade and get that over there. I'm gonna take it right down this edge first. There we go. Rookie. Boy, these are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fish. Chunky, chunky fish. Thank you, Mr. Brooks. There's another one. He's on the dropper that time. I think it's a salmon. Yep. One cast of brook. The next one is salmon. Decent chunk. Thank you, Mr. Salmon. Ain't that size 18 walk. I need to go a little bit lighter here. Good drift right there. Oh. Good drift. There we go. Decent fish. Yeah. Well, that's a nice fish. That is a chunk. Look at that guy. Wow. What a fish. What a beautiful, beautiful salmon. Thank you, Mr. Salmon. What that has a nice 14 inch chunk. Nice. Just shows you. I was down there, come up, I get a completely different drift. Was perfectly adept there and nailed this guy. He hit the dropper. It's all right there. It's another salmon. <sighs> I 
Thank you, Mr. Sam. <clears throat> Before I step on this rock, I'm gonna bring it along that edge there. There we go, oh, it's a nice fish. Real nice fish. Real nice, oh, nice salmon. Beautiful salmon. Get the dropper. Wow, this is a beauty. I gotta get him around this rock here. And then you know he's hooked. There we go. There we go. Wow, that's a beautiful fish right there. That is a beauty. That is a chunk right there, buddy. Woo! Look at that guy. He's 16 inches. Hell no, he's 18 inches. Wow, what a fish. What a fish. Look at that, look at that fish. What a beautiful fish. What a beauty. Thank you, Mr. Salmon. That was awesome. Let's come right through the chute here. Just got it on that edge there, it's nice. There we go. Oh, I got a double. I lost the one. <laughs> that was just cool. It's a little brookie. I had a, I had a brookie and a salmon on. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, I'm going to work this edge back to me, and then I'll get out in that faster water. See, got some really nice depth here. Bring this right back to me. There we go. <clears throat> nice brookie here. Real nice brookie. That's a beautiful fish right here. Beautiful fish. Wow, what a stunner. What a stunner this is. Wow. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Get the blowtorch. Look at that guy. What a beautiful, beautiful fish. Thank you, Mr. Brookie. Catching all these fish on a size 14 blowtorch and a size 18 waltz with an orange collar. This shows you whether you're in Pennsylvania, New York, or Virginia, or Maine. These fish all hit the same bugs. Let's bring this right back to me again. There we go. Brookie. There you go. Beauty. Hit the blowtorch. Just been constantly rotating my weights between a 3.3 three and a 2.8. Every time I get up to a little bit heavier current, I go to that heavier bug and it seems to be the ticket so you got to constantly be adjusting your weight don't be afraid to change weight i think weight management is just so key and i really just think uh it's a hit a lot of people just 
you know, they put on the bugs and they kind of almost set it and forget it. And it's really super, super important. So it just came downstream. You can see how the river really widens out down here. It looks amazing. Nice, nice phone line right here. There we go. Nice fish too. Nice fish. I think it's a salmon. Wow, this has been hit the dropper. Just been an awesome river here. We've only been fishing three hours. Yeah, real nice salmon. Boy, these are fighters. What a fish. What a fish. Beauty. Absolute beauty. Wow. What a chunk this one is. What a beautiful, beautiful salmon. 17 inches. Thank you, Mr. Salmon. It's awesome. Let's pop downstream here. I'm going to cross. I think I can fish that area better from the other side, but I got to hit this little pocket right here before I walk through it. There we go. I knew something be in that pocket. That's why sometimes we're anxious to get to the other side, but you got to fish the water in front of you first before you walk through it. I was a little guy, but to be a big guy next time. All right, so I'm on the other side now. I'm going to be able to fish this a lot better here. <clears throat> this is just really good looking water here. You, know, so you see how easy I'm casting out. I mean, <clears throat> just a little flip of the wrist. Just nice controlled cast upstream, and that was a 25 foot cast just a water load boom 25 feet out perfect cast and bury that cider in the water compensate for that wind and get that cider vertical when i get a chance when the wind gives me a chance i'll get it vertical Decent fish. It's a nice fish, actually. Nice fish. It's a real nice fish. I think it's a big brookie. Been waiting for one of these monster brook trout that I knew were in here. I believe it's a brookie. Real nice fish. Oh yeah, it's a enormous brook trout. God. This is what Maine is all about right here. These huge, huge wild brook trout. Mm. 
Look at this guy. Look at this fish. Look at this fish. Look at this monster brook trout. What a fish. What a fish. What a monster, monster brook trout. It's a 17 inch football. What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful trout. Thank you, Mr. Brookie. Wow. What a beast. That is what Maine is all about right there. Trophy brook trout. My entire trip was made right there. Let's fish this edge. Well, now, bad cast, but it's a good run right in the heart of it. There we go. God. That's why you fish all your casts out right there. A little rookie. Hit the waltz. That's what I want, right on this edge here. There we go. Another brookie. Whacking that blowtorch. Boy, right out in front of me. It's just a severe drop off. And I can get a vertical sighter right underneath the rod tip here. Now just watch this cast. I'm gonna stick it. And I'm not even, I'm just, I'm elevating my rod. Get that sighter vertical. There we go. Rookie. So you can see it's all about line management. It's just, I stick the cast up there. I took my rod up to get that cider to vertical and just let it swing right underneath the rod tip. Hit the dropper. Thank you, Mr. Brookie. One, two steps up here. Get a different drift. There we go. Well, look at that. He just hit right in front of me. Right right in front of me here. Decent brookie. Nice brookie. Real nice brookie. He hit the waltz. What a beautiful fish this guy is. God, look at the colors on this thing. Look at the colors on that thing. What a beautiful fish. Ah, stone fly. Nice. Nice stone. Really cool. There you go. Got a real deep hole here to the left between those boulders. And so cool that tree growing out of the boulder. I'm going to hit this fast chute. There's a pocket there, and I'm going to hit over here to the left. Get on that other edge. There we go. It's a nice fish. <clears throat> oh yeah. Nice rookie. You hit the pats. Ah. 
Ah, yeah, nice fish. Nice brookie. Hit the stone fly. Ah, that's a beauty. Beauty. Look at that guy. Beautiful fish. Beautiful. 14 incher. That was just a big fish hole right there. Beautiful. Just had a good feeling about that stone fly after flipping a couple rocks. A little closer. Actually, let me pop it in this hole right here. This looks pretty juicy. Hitting that stone fly now. So I'm going to be calling it quits here on the uh, McGalloway River here in uh, Maine. Boy, what a day. What a beautiful, beautiful river you can see behind me. Uh, had incredible luck. I mean, wild brook trout, wild landlocked salmon. It was just a blast. I caught some, a couple beautiful, beautiful salmon and a couple beautiful brook trout. Uh, just like that one football I caught. Uh, just amazing. I mean, this is just pocket water heaven here. Had a blast. I mean, the flies today were uh, size 14 blowtorch, uh, size 18 waltz worm with an orange collar, just probably half and half. And at the end here, I put a patch rubber leg on because I flipped some rocks and saw a lot of stone flies. Ended up catching a really nice uh, 14 inch brookie on that stone. What a day. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I love fishing here because what a beautiful, beautiful place. God, Maine is truly uh, brook trout heaven up here. Uh, if you like this video, I appreciate if you give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, I would appreciate if you would subscribe. And as always, tight lines, everybody. I'll see you later. Bye.